Hello, Archie Peeps! This is Ian DJ, Raven Fox 13. Today, we will be doing brush drills for your watercolors. First, we need our watercolor. This is the same watercolor that we used the other time. This is Prussian Blue 246. You can use any watercolor that you have with you. I'm just rewetting the surface. You can use any kind of paper for this drill. Any kind of paper. See? We need a very watered down watercolor for this one. So this is a very good thing that you can do whenever you clean your palette. Instead of just pushing it on the sink, I suggest you do this with a brush. Uh, these are several exercises that you can do to improve the way of your brushwork. First one would be thin strokes. I'll just make sure that I mix this paint very well. It's a very liquid mix. There. So, the first one would be the thin stroke. Using your round brush, water brush, or any brush that you have, preferably round, we will create thin strokes on the paper. So you can use any paper, cup on bond, copy paper, even a newspaper would be okay. And then create thin lines like this. can try to uh, create lines like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. From one side to the other side of the paper. Currently pushing the line. Some of you might have it a little bit hard to do the pushing motion. You can do the pulling motion like this one. There. Another one. one. Probably make uh, at least 10 of these. It doesn't have to be a straight line. Now we just want you to have the feel that you are using the brush tip there. Next would be creating thicker lines like this. Push the brush over there. Mix, push the brush. Okay. And then let's push. So try to experiment on pushing and pulling the brush. You would be creating different strokes while doing this. Okay. Next one would be the thick and thin. This would be a little tricky. So, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin. Again, thick, thin, thick, thin. So I'm doing an alternate motion here. So if you have here a thick, you'll do a thin. Thin, do a thick. Similar to what we did for the first two. I'll do it again. Thin stroke, thick stroke. Thin stroke, thick stroke. Thin stroke, thick stroke. Thin stroke, thick stroke. Thin stroke. Thin stroke, thick stroke. Also similar to pull, push, pull, push, pull. Again. Push, pull, push, pull, push. 
Okay? He'll probably enjoy that one. Lastly, would be the spirals. First, do it like this. Start from the middle, clockwise. Just do that spiral until you reach a certain part. Okay? Do the counterclockwise. Okay, do the same thing. Yeah. This helps your hand create those curves, those lines, easier. Another, you can also start the spiral from the outward going inward. So, one going inward. Again, you can use your uh, scratch paper for this. This would uh, help creating those curves that we will be doing for the next session. After this, the paper you're probably using could be used as a wrapping paper or a cardstock for your next project. Let's do it again. Thin strokes. key to uh, watercolor painting is practice. Always, always, always practice. Thin stroke. Thick stroke. Thick stroke. Thick stroke. Thick stroke. Now let's do the thick and thin. Thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick. Alternate, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin. Again, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick. Okay, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Make sure that your hand is not touching the paper when you're doing this. Okay, have it above moving on a horizontal manner or a vertical manner. Thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick. Again, for the last time. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. That's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed doing that, those brush exercises with me. You can do this with any watercolor that you have and any paper that you got at home. Feel free to do the first and second exercises where we have uh, made uh, different kinds of tints from one color just by adding water and pigment. And then the second ex exercise, don't forget to do the color wheel and we will be using it on the next session. Thank you so much for joining this watercolor workshop. Bye-bye. This is Ian DJ, Raven Fox 13. Thank you, Crafters Marketplace. See you again and have a beautiful week. Ciao!